Actually, that might be a good way to lead into this gift I have for you. This, oh, this I can't moment. wait. What did you bring Why me? They, well, there's two. There's a two-parter. One is a gift <laughs> for you. One is the one thing I want to show you. Oh, my gosh. So <gasps> talking about why they like rules so much. This is this is for you here. This is a, this a very, very popular children's book <laughs> in Germany called The Struve Peter. And it's literally like... I mean, my wife's dad, so many, so many people yes. um, grew up with this book. I grew up with this. Do you have I this? Know th- I know. I have this book. I have this. No I've, I've already way. shown it to my children and they are Does terrified. This, like, bring up your yes, nightmares? Yes, of course. <laughs> you don't show this to your boys, do you? <laughs> and it's like, cut your fingers off if you suck them, right? For if real. You suck your for thumb. real. Like, yeah. I've, I've done it's videos about terrible. it, but for those who, who um, don't this. know anything about it, like, just like, there's, you know, like lessons. It's lessons for kids to learn. <laughs> like, very briefly, this girl, <laughs> she plays with matches. <laughs> And the lesson is, she catches fire and dies. Mm-hmm. That's her ashes. Mm-hmm. The, t- the kittens are crying <laughs> pools of tears. That's real. That's actually happening in this children's nighttime <laughs> story. Um, night, you know, night. There's some pretty <laughs> racist stuff in here, too. Um, and then the Ashen, we'll, the Peter, a lot the of, Ashen. A lot of old school stuff in what here. What is it? Oh, here's one. Yeah, yeah. So here's another <laughs> one. So this boy is here at home. He's a thumb sucker. Yep. And the mom is going to go out to the store and she says, now, don't suck your thumb while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And he does. And then an adult stranger breaks into their home, a tailor, and slices his thumbs off forever. (laughs) That's how my dad got me to stop sucking my thumb. He told me this story. (laughs) He put like a pocket knife to your... Yeah, he's like, the Wicked Witch is going to come and and cut it off. He actually told told you that? Yeah, because he heard the same shit. Yeah, it's so Uh, traumatizing. And they're all like... I mean, this one, like, you know, this kid's like, I don't want to eat soup. So then he dies. (laughs) 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 Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. One for each kid now. You know, they had to share you one still copy. have the old copy. Of course. Oh, man, no, I should have asked before. I wanted to surprise you with that. No, I love this. Um, but Zainmar. I have a feeling growing up with stories like this is... Oh, and also Krampus. I think that's Krampus awesome. I think it's like a, the kid culture, I think, is what makes them so rigid about behaving a certain way. I think you're right. And it they, must be part of it. But also kids really love the gore and they like the violence. They thought it was funny. Yeah. You know, in the 60s, they were like... <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I read the Brothers Grimm to my right. children. Right, and Max and Moritz is another popular, uh, just like that. Yeah, you know, the original, they all die. <laughs> even Aschenputtel, the original Cinderella, mm. uh, one of the sisters cuts her foot off to fit the glass slipper oh and God. bleeds on the horse because oh the, the prince is like, I guess you're her. What lesson are you supposed to learn from that? <laughs> well, Just, children, whatever here's it a knife. takes <laughs> you know, like. to get him to love you, cut your foot off. Yeah. <laughs> Aschenputtel. Don't be yourself, kids. Don't ever be yourself. Don't ever just uh, find someone who loves you for who you are. Slice and dice. So Krampus, let's talk. So in Hungary, the story that I always heard growing up is, okay, so Saint Nicholas, Saint Nicholas, he comes actually on December 6th. This is not uh, Santa Claus. This is bullshit. And then, oh wait, what is it? Yeah, right? Six, the sixth is when you put your shoes out. Yeah, that's right. And you can either get candy if you're good <clears throat> Or lumps of coal, if you're bad. And then the devil comes to your house and he takes a switch and he beats you if you're bad. Oh, okay. And my uncle Pishta got the devil once because he was bad one year. And it, literally a guy in the village dresses yeah. up as, this, as Satan and comes in with a branch and beats your child. I should have, I, you know, I should have sent you a couple of photos from, from, from my wife's hometown because <laughs> they have these... They. It, it is Krampus, but they call them Klausen there. Oh. And it's literally, it's it's so horrifying. And it's always horrifying. There is no time of being there where you're like, huh, I get it now. It's always like, I really hope they don't let them in. <laughs> like, you really always hope they don't open the door. But they're like these, you know, like blasted, hammered, drunk bachelor dudes. They're like <laughs> 19. Look, us, look this up. It's so They've funny. got like the, these big, furry... Like it's all real fur. They get like they skin yeah. the goats and the lambs and the cows. They put these big fur things with real horns, and they growl. They have to like audition to be one of them. They have to go in the woods and like do their most vicious, horrifying like scream. And if they pass that test, they can be in this you know basically a cult. Yeah. And then every December, every December sixth. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. This is kind of more what it looks like in uh, in the city. So they have these like very devilish looking masks and stuff. That's that very is terrifying. It is very terrifying. I mean, no matter which interpretation. And is this to deter the children from bad behavior in the month of December? Yeah, essentially. Right? Yeah, it's basically like Saint Nick is like you know Nicholas yeah. is uh, brings you know um, fruits and gifts and treats, <laughs> and it's like, are you being a good boy or being a good girl? 
And uh, in in my in my wife's hometown, the way that the the way that it would work with the village is that you know everyone knows who these people are going to be, <laughs> and they would say like, um, hey hey this year when you and your friends are doing it, um, you know Anna took five yeah. euros out of her yeah. Oma's purse, yeah. so come we're going to let you in and just come come give her a little come mess with her, which is basically trauma because yeah. like yeah. imagine this girl's like eight. <laughs> You know, and you have these monster, like twenty-year-old dudes. Yes. With these, and you know, and these little kids don't know they're not real. Yeah. And they're like, <laughs> and they open the door and screaming, "Where are you?" And then like, "Be a good girl." And it's hor- <laughs> it's horrifying. It's really scary. And like, my wife has Stockholm syndrome because of that. Oh, I'm I mean, sure. Like, I I have called it that as a joke, but I legitimately believe it because every time it gets around the beginning of December, she's like, "Oh, you know." We we should go to my parents' uh, house this 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 weekend or you know whenever of the day of the week it is, and I always don't want to go because mm. I, I I don't want to be a, it's really scary it's terrifying yeah it's like a little exciting depending where you are if you the thing is that's also like the town gets so used to it that you know teenagers will go out in the street and run away from them they'll go get drunk you know <sighs> and like let them chase them they have like these big helmets and tiny little eyes so they can't see so well anyway. So I think if you're used to it and you're 18, it's probably a lot of fun. But man, I've been captured and beaten by those dudes. Really? There was one funny story where our friend Sarah from New Orleans visited us. And I'll never forget this. Like we were in uh, in my brother-in-law's house and he lives like in the center of this town, on the like in this pretty house, like right in like the town square. And everyone knows him. Like her family, they have a company in the town. And so everyone knows them as like local dudes. And of course, all of the monster bachelor dudes were like, oh, you know, they're, they, you know, they were the younger brother of like guys who went to school with him or their dad works with him. And so they all wanted to come like mess with him. So they, I remember one year we were there where you drink a lot, you eat a lot of like rolled side, the bread and sausage and stuff. And it was like family and friends. And Sarah, our friend Sarah was there. And uh, one year they're banging on the door and he lets them in. (gasps) They come in and they make all their noise and they, they have sticks. They had a... A se- this is a real severed chicken leg that was still kind of bloody. And he came into her drink and plopped it in her drink and said, like, drink it. She's ah. like, no. <laughs> and he goes, okay. And then he drank it. <laughs> and then they took the helmets off. And we had, like, let's say an hour of peace. They, you know, they're just, at, at, that, at that point, it just looks like Robert Pattinson's Batman a bit, yeah. like the smeared Ugh. makeup and everything. And they drink, they drink like fish. But then when they put it back on, it's like they snap back into character. Oh, yeah. And I was there and I was making jokes with them and I thought, oh, the, the danger is over. The helmets came back on and they just targeted me. And like four guys grabbed me by my shirt and my arm and dragged me. And my feet were like dragging down. It's like, guys, guys. And my friend Sarah goes, bye, Jordan. <laughs> I'll never forget like that tiny little, bye, Jordan. And they took me out and they hit me with sticks. They made me sing a song out in the sidewalk. And it was an accident, but one dude bent down to, to do something, like fix his shoe. And when he came up, his horn like scratched <gasps> my forehead. I had like a little trinkle of blood and like Ugh. switch marks. I was like, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. It's really a crazy it's, thing. They, and they're like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's, so, it's such a severe culture. And yeah. I think like our, we're not used to it, you know? Like, I know, yeah. it's so brutal. Like in Hungary right now, so for Easter... <laughs> I don't know what the Germans do for Easter. There's no big bunnies. I don't think there's any. Big <laughs> no, there's no joy. And, it's just and, Catholicism. <laughs> yeah. Well, you Google Hungarian um, Easter. It's like out in the, uh, not in Budapest, but like in the countryside. My dad would tell me that um, the boys would go. Yeah, see, okay. See them dousing girls. Oh, wow. So like they go to like door to door, I guess. And they knock on the door and they ask for the pretty girl that lives in the house. And if, the girl doesn't kiss them. They douse them with water. <laughs> no. <laughs> or perfume. Like the girls give them a little bit of perfume is what my dad will always say. Yeah. And then they just like, they douse the, the village girls in water. <laughs> that seems so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I know. But this is like, haha, LOL, lols. This is Easter. <laughs> it's negative four degrees out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're just oh looking at like a- <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> they're just beating a girl in the street. Yeah. They're like, it's tradition. Watering of the girls for Easter. Your dad's like, this is my favorite part of this the year. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you teach these bitches a lesson. Yeah. This is Christica, lovely. go get water. Go get water for the villagers. <laughs> yeah. And my dad, like, for, I remember I went to his house for Easter and he's like, I made Easter, this is Easter meal. And it was like <laughs> ham with um, horseradish and mustard and like and two eggs, hard boiled. <laughs> 
<laughs> like this is disgusting. Like, That's I, this so is real. So gnarly. That's yeah. So real. And yeah. brot. Yeah, the bread. How's the cross. Hungarian bread? Because yeah. the German bread is legit. It's the, so actually, I grew up eating German bread because my dad preferred rye with no seeds. And there was this oh, yeah. place called Otto's German Deli in um, the valley where I grew up. I'm oh, sorry, no, that was a different place. German. It was just called German Cold Cuts. Oh, nice. <laughs> it existed up until two years ago or so, and that's where we go buy all the German it was treats. The kids from the stories just sliced up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you like that highlight? I mean, how much fun was that? Why don't you watch a bunch more? We made a bunch more for you to watch. And then why don't you subscribe to my show? Subscribe to where my mom's at. That way, every time I drop an episode, you get, you just get it. You don't have to think about it. And then hit the notification bell so you can get notified of all the great stuff that I make. Watch other highlights. Treat yourself. Get your life right.